Yeah, we let's talked about talk this about I rationalizing <laughs> the denominator. Oh, genius. We want to take a complex number in this form, and the cool trick that you will employ is called multiplying it by the complex conjugate. And the complex conjugate is simply, like I've mentioned to you in a previous video, if you watched the previous video, complex conjugate is just switch the number, switch the sign of the imaginary part of that complex number. But of course, whenever you deal with fractions, you have to multiply the top and bottom by it. Otherwise, you're doing something very illegal. So let's do that. Like Negative 8i minus 24i squared. Now that's going to turn into a negative 1. So that's going to become a positive oh, sorry. 24. Oh. And then the bottom, oh, watch how cool this is, it becomes Are 1. Sure? I'm foiling first. Outside is positive 3i. Inside is negative 3i. Hey, Ooh. that's cool. And the last is negative 9i squared. Classic. Now what does i squared turn into, you ask? Positive it 9. It turns into negative 1. So this is just simplifies to, notice Ten. that I had a positive, this was being multiplied, so I have a positive 24 on the top. I'm writing it in real number part first, a oh. plus bi form, minus 8i. That's the top. And on the bottom, I've got 1 minus a negative is plus a positive, so, plus a positive. or a negative times a negative is a positive, so that becomes 10. Yeah. I now let's write it in complex, but or in standard you form, to yourself? distributing the 10 to both of them, and then of course I'm going to simplify, those both have a 2 in common, so that's 12 fifths minus 4 fifths i. And there's your number. That's what this number, that number right there, that original red thing, is equivalent to that. That's the standard form of a complex number for that particular fraction. Peace out.